Guess who's just given a clean chit to Pakistan's elections? The United States. Let me recount how Pakistan held its general election. Mobile internet turned off. Most popular leader in jail facing 200 cases. Biggest opposition party stripped of its election symbol and vote counting took almost two days. How would you describe this election? You would say it's not an election. If it happened anywhere else, the US would also say the same thing. But this was Pakistan. So they said the elections were clearly competitive. We congratulate the Pakistani people, first of all, for participating uh, on the election on Thursday. It was clearly a competitive election in which people um, were able to exercise their choice. Not sure what competitive means in the US. Does it mean stuffing ballots or shutting down the internet or deploying soldiers inside counting centers? If so, yes, it was competitive. All these statements expose America's policy on Pakistan. They can't seem to abandon the Pakistani army despite the rigging, despite the support for the Taliban, despite the double game on terror. The US remains in the army's corner. My point is, Washington stands exposed yet again. It's no secret that they support the generals in Rawalpindi to keep their dirty works department in the region up and running. Hence, they're all silent on the rigging. But imagine if this happened elsewhere. The criticism would have been never ending. So the next time America begins a moral lecture, ask them about Pakistan.